Reads live from KSAT 12. The 6 o'clock news starts right now. Was there hand sanitizer in the home in the second place? Yes. What was it used for? It was used for, for Miranda to punish. Extreme punishment at the hands of a parent. A 12 year old boy describes how his stepmother, Miranda Casadas, starved his little brother to death. She is charged with injury to a child in this case. And Daniela Ibarra shows us the 12 year old says that he was told to keep what he saw to himself. And we do have to warn you that some of the details are difficult to hear. Art is this sixth grader's favorite subject, but the picture he's painted of his stepmother, Miranda Casares, is dark. Miranda put all locks all over the fridge, the counter, everything. The 12 year old says Casares treated his four year old brother, Benjamin Cervera, differently. She will get mad whenever he, he spills stuff or he does something on accident. He says Casares' punishments got physical. Miranda will grab Benji and do, throw him up into the air. Make sure he falls out on the ground and it will, it will hurt Benji. He says she would starve his little brother. At times, he says she forced Savetta to drink hot sauce, toilet water, even hand sanitizer. She will usually force Benji to open his mouth by, grab, by grabbing his mouth and trying to open it. And Benji will usually cry because it hurts and it didn't. This hand sanitizer tastes bad. Cervera's brother says this all happened when his dad wasn't home. Did Miranda ever tell you to keep what she did at Benji a secret? Yes. How many times? A lot of times. He says he tried to help his little brother, but Caceres would stop him. Cervera died in August of 2021, which the medical examiner says was caused by starvation. The 12 year old says he felt like he couldn't speak up. I didn't. I was afraid. Testimony in the trial is set to continue tomorrow. If Caceres is found guilty, she faces up to life in prison. At the Governor Reeves Justice Center, Danielle Ibarra, KSAT 12 News.